Hello everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm here to distract you again today from all the going on. Um, we had cooked turkey yesterday and there's so many people wondering how to make Newfoundland style potato salad, mustard salad, you know, a cold plate in general. So I thought this was a great opportunity to come on here and show you how because I'm actually really looking forward to a cold plate tonight. And uh, yeah, this might be a bit of a lengthy video, so I did do a little tiny bit of the prep work. Um, I had a lady say she missed me doing some of the prep work. Um, so I'll try to include what I can um, and, and we'll see how it goes. My biggest problem with the videos are it takes me forever, like hours to upload a 10 minute video. It's insane, I know. Come on, Belle. <laughs> supposed to be the fastest. <laughs> Anyhow, right now I'm going to show you how to make potato salad. I have a very small onion and I cut it really, really small and I'm going to cut it even smaller. I cannot stand, as you know, um, I don't really like onions. I do like the flavor and they do, um, they do tend to put a really good flavor on salad, uh, but again, like I can't bite into an onion, so for me, I've got to have them pretty much minced, really, 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 really small. Uh, years ago, uh, people would be afraid they'd get sick of potato salads and stuff, and uh, everybody thought it was the mayonnaise, leaving out, you know, warm mayonnaise, leaving it out. But later on through the years, they found out that um, it was actually the onion, um, because onions actually absorb um, viruses, bacteria, different things from the air. And uh, if, you, if you leave them out and then you eat them, you can get quite sick, I think. Um, so I like to do this and, and, and get this out of the way. Um, I've got, I'm going to put these all in the bowl because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I always do this step first. I may not use all of these onions, but we'll see. So what I like to do normally is, you know those little pickled onions in the jar? Normally what I do is just empty some of the juice of those um, and let my onion kind of marinate a little bit before they put them in the salad. I didn't have any left, so I'm gonna squirt a little bit of vinegar on here. Just a bit, I don't know, tablespoonful or so. If this is, the vinegar and stuff is not going to um, actually go in the salad, as you'll see. And then I'm just going to um, yeah, take a bit of pinch of sugar and just put that right over top. Let's see, I got about a half a teaspoon. A full teaspoon, sorry. So, I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take my fork just to kind of mix it around. You can see, like, I don't have a lot of liquid in there, but there's enough. I just like a little tang in the uh, in the onion. Set that aside. I boiled. I'm thinking it was close to five pounds of potatoes, four pounds maybe. Uh, a nice feel because I'm going to make uh, just a potato, regular potato salad, a beet salad, and a mustard salad. So I wanted to be sure I had enough. So what I did was I, uh, I boiled them on the stove for, I don't know, 25 minutes or so until they were fork tender. And now we're going to mash. And you can actually take these potatoes and you can put them through um, a potato ricer, if you like. Um, and that really ensures that there's no lumps. Um, I don't know if you'd say mainlanders or people that come from a ways. <laughs> Most of them use uh, like a chunky potato in their potato salad. And lots of people really like that. And that's fine. But for me, I prefer like a creamy, creamy potato salad. So I got these kind of just mashed now. I'm gonna lay them aside while I make something else for these. Years and years ago, when I was a young girl, and I, I'm thinking it was around the 80s, early 90s when it went off the market, Heinz used to make a vegetable salad mix and it came in a can and it was just like a creamy sauce with peas and carrots. Um, it was delicious. Almost every Newfoundlander put it in their potato salad uh, mom included. We could eat it out of the can. It was that good. Anyway, I was on 
Facebook last week and I saw one of the radio stations actually had a picture of it on there and said, do you remember that? Well, I actually have a recipe for something that's very similar to that and I always use it. So I'm going to show you now. <laughs> and I'm going to double up because I always do and I have lots of potatoes. So the, the original recipe calls for a half a cup of America Whip. I'm going to use a full cup. I've got some in here already because there was just like a little bit left in the jar and uh, you know, got to get rid of that. So in here now I'm going to measure one cup of America Whip. America Whip is the salad dressing. It's not like real mayo. Uh, real mayo tends to have more of a, like an eggier taste, I guess. It's a better spoon. Now, let's see how we are. I don't know if you guys ever had any of that vegetable salad growing up. Sure was popular in our house. Now, I am going to lift that up and bring it up to my eye because when you look down, you're not getting a correct measurement. And uh, yeah, I can see that I do have a cup. So, one cup of Miracle Whip. And we may add more Miracle Whip, as you'll see. We're going to add Two teeth. I actually remember. <laughs> I actually remembered a little damn cloth today. This is one of those uh, Swedish famous cloths that my sister-in-law, my beautiful sister-in-law Carrie, gave it to me for Christmas, and along with my gift. And I really, really, really love it. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take some mustard, regular prepared mustard. The recipe calls for two. I'm gonna use four. One two, three, four. And I wasn't like really, really, really exact with that stuff. Uh, uh, as you'll see, a lot of times this will go more by taste. Um, we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of sugar. And of course I would get my teaspoon measure full of <laughs> mustard. Anyhow, I got a half teaspoon measure here. So I'm gonna add One teaspoon. Sorry for the noise. Two. Three. So four teaspoons of sugar. And that's again only because I'm doubling the recipe. We need two teaspoons of milk. I can use my mustard spoon for that one. And I'm just using carnation evaporated milk. So, one, two was what it called for. I'm doubling, so I'm adding two more. And two teaspoons of regular white vinegar. And again, I'm adding four. Now, we're just going to uh, mix that together. And it says to add a can of peas and carrots to this. Uh, I will add peas and carrots, but I'll do it later. Um, I like to make sure that the, uh, the creamy mixture is all mixed into the potatoes first. Now, this is what I have. Look, it's even like the same color as it used to be. Um, I don't know how keen I would be to eat this out of the jar, but anyhow. Um, now what I'm going to do is, so from these potatoes, I'm going to make three different salads. So what I need to do now is get three bowls out here. I'm just going to move some stuff out of my way. Yes, I was a little bit smart today and brought over another cart so that I could, uh, you know, get some stuff out of my way. For your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Now, I need, I'm thinking, beet, potato, and I'll just make a small mustard one because hubby doesn't really like mustard salad, but I do, so <laughs> more for me. Now, I'm going to take my well-mashed potatoes. Lay that over my broccoli. I'm going to show you that later. 
I'm just making sure that they're really meshed now. And I'm going to take so much. And what I like to do is put the most in the potato salad. And then I'll take a medium amount for beet salad. And then I'll take a smaller amount again for the mustard salad. Yeah, I'm just going to scrape out my bottom because you know what I'm like. I hate to leave things in the pot. Yeah. Empty pot going to be put aside. Um, it's a little hot. I'm just going to lay it over here. Now, See how much is in this bowl, my largest bowl, medium and small. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to take this and divide it, one, two, three, and again, the same kind of portion, so like, you know, most of it will go in here. <laughs> I don't measure much, sorry. I did bring some stuff out to show, so I'll try and do my best for you guys. And I'll put a little bit in there, and that'll give a nice flavor to the, because mustard salad kind of just tastes like mustard, so that'll give it a nice flavor. There's my little bit. Scrape it all out, because it really is delicious. Now, I'm going to have some mess made by the end of this, let me tell you. Now, push that off there. Now, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to take my potato salad. And what I'm going to do is just a spoon, you could probably use a bigger spoon than this, but then this works. I'm going to mix that all in through. And as you can see, it's nice and creamy. It actually smells pretty good already. And I'm going to now take my onions that have been marinating. And normally they would marinate maybe for a little bit longer again. Um, but yeah, not necessary. Um, this will be good. I'm just going to... Take some of the onion and put it in there. Not all, just some. Maybe half, because this is the bigger bowl. Now I'm going to take a can of just regular can of peas and carrots. We've not what now. Um, and I'm going to sprinkle some in there. Um, it doesn't go in the beet salad. A lot of people don't put it in the uh, mustard or the beet salad, actually. Um, but I may put a little bit in my beet salad. I'm going to leave a little in the can. I'm uh, going, to, I'm going to wipe off this little spoon and use my big one. And I'm just going to mix in all the peas and carrots. This is sounding and looking rather creamy already. Um, normally I make a bigger, bigger batch, but it's just the two of us, so, um, so I'm going to leave it there. Now, what you need to do now is taste. You may need to add more mayo, you may not, and that all depends on your taste. We like a lot of mayo, um, it, just, it just tends to make it taste better. Um, so I'm going to have a little taste here. And again, it's warm. It's going to taste different once it's cooled down and everything. <laughs> little onion. Yeah, that's pretty good, but it does need a little tiny bit more Miracle Whip. And don't be shy with the Miracle Whip. I know it looks like it's a lot, but like, it seriously makes it taste better. So I'm thinking I got about mm, maybe an extra quarter cup, two thirds maybe. And I'm thinking that should be plenty for this one. Oh, <laughs> I remember a few years ago I was giving Judy a hand 
uh, making Coldplay, I believe it was for the rec center or something. My goodness, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cold plates we had done up and we just had them lined off in rows and rows and rows and rows. And they were very good. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me lick my finger. Mm. Yeah, much better. So take your, take your wonderful taste buds and have a taste um, before you put your paprika on. If you want to put paprika on, I know I have paper, paprika here somewhere. Um, I'm just going to take paper towel because I got my bowl made a little bit messy. This particular towel, but when I put the plastic wrap on it, it's going to be funny. So I just like to take a little C and take that off. So then it looks nicer in the bowl too. And we're going to take a little tiny bit of paprika, sprinkle on the top, and just like dinner, done like dinner, that's potato salad, Newfoundland style. Now, I'm going to lay that aside, and we're going to do, I guess we'll do our beet salad next. I'm trying to tidy up, I'm, I'm trying to stay as clean as I can for you guys. Now. These are my homemade beets. Um, I made them, I don't know, in September, I think. Um, and what you'll see, I'll need a couple of beets um, and I'm going to chop these up. I don't know, maybe, oh, I'm just going to take like five pieces and try there. That might even be a bit much because I don't have a ton of salad. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to uh, mix this in here. Now this one here, this beet salad, it may not need uh, any more Miracle Whip because the tanginess of the beet, and you'll see, I'll probably put some of the vinegar in there just for color, and that, uh, that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> I hope this video don't run too long for you guys. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really, really requested recipe, so I figured I'd give it a go, and, uh, you know, I really, really, really do enjoy cold plates. It's probably, like, one of my most favorite foods. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> I'll be sharpening my knives this morning, so... I better be a little careful. And again, I would have done this earlier, but I'm just trying to please everybody, as usual. <laughs> Not that I'm a people pleaser, I just like to see people happy. <laughs> into a little bit of a vinegary beet when you uh, have your potato salad. I must say, it's very, very, very good. I hope you can see okay with the glare from the window. Uh, I, I can't see very well, but hopefully you can. I'm going to take this now. Ta-da! <laughs> I know, I make some pretty nice beet. I'm going to take that and put it right in there. On, oh, hopefully that won't stay in my little table. I'm also going to take some more of those marinated onion and put it in there. And I'm going to take a normal, a normal big spoon and try and uh, combine this together now because if I use this, this big one, I'll probably make a big mess. I'll probably make a big mess anyhow, but anyway. You can see that it's going like a nice, a gorgeous pink kind of color. Now, I can tell already that I'm going to have to make it more pink. So, I'm just going to take a little tiny drop 
of the vinegar juice. I, I'm, I'm thinking that was about a tablespoon. Um, and put that in there. And what that does is it gives it the gorgeous color, but it also makes it taste nicer, like tangy. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh yeah. Now I was gonna add some extra peas and carrots. I'm gonna put them in here. And normally peas and carrots don't go in big salad. I just like it that way. <laughs> That's the beauty of cooking for yourself. <laughs> you can make it however you like it. Even when you're cooking for hubby, he'll eat it anyway. <laughs> now I'm going to have a taste because I may need to add uh, some more mayo or something. I'll be full by the time supper rolls around. Mm. It's good, but it needs more mayo. So... Another giant tablespoon, like almost a quarter cup. Um, yeah. Cold plates are probably fattening. <laughs> but I don't care. They're delicious. We were out for a lovely walk earlier. My gosh, it's so beautiful out. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, a little chill in the air, but not too bad. Now, I'm going to have another taste. Yeah, that's better. So, I'm going to take some more. Clean up my bowl again. Presentation is everything. <laughs> And if you want, you can add paprika uh, to the top of that as well. Um, the paprika is getting low. Anyway, you don't need much. Here's the beet salad, just like that. I can see on my bottom, I probably don't have it mixed all the way. See that? <laughs> but that's all right. It's for me. Um, and I'm sure that's going to taste just fine as well. So now, I need more room. <laughs> Now, next we have beef, uh, sorry, mustard salad. Now, I need another spoon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix that in there. I had a little chunky, chunkiness of potato right there. I'm just going to kind of mash that down with my spoon. I hope I'm not making too much noise with the clinking of, <laughs> clinking of the dishes and everything else. Now, this one, all we need to do here for this one now is add some mustard. And it's just regular uh, prepared mustard. I'm going to go over here and squirt the first bit out. I hate sometimes when you get that little bit of liquid. I know, it kind of sounded like a little fart. <laughs> it wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> about, I'm going to try about a half a tablespoon and see where we go. Because you don't need much, you don't really don't need much mustard. But you do need a little bit more than that. So maybe a tablespoon if you're using this much um, potatoes. I know, I make some mess. I think I could almost use another, another little tiny pinch. And I'm eyeballing this, so, you know, do it to your taste. Get slippery. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to have a little taste of that. I'm going to use that spoon. Hold on. <laughs> I know we got a billion spoons here. Mm, 
needs a pinch of mail. I mean, Miracle Whip. <laughs> I'm gonna add like, you know, a heaping tablespoon again. And most likely you'll find it the case. And that's why I always, always double up on that uh, vegetable salad recipe. Cause had I been back in 1984, I probably would have used one for the potato salad and then another one for the other. <laughs> probably would have ate one just like it was. I don't know. Yeah, how creamy is it, my goodness. Get off. <laughs> there, now I'm gonna have another, another taste. I'm gonna wipe off my, <laughs> even though it's just for me, I hate double dipping. Mm, perfect, absolutely perfect that one is now. Now, mustard salad doesn't tend to uh, have any paprika on it and you don't really need it. You can put it on if it likes the look of it. Not a problem. So, ta-da, mustard salad. Now, what are we going to put on our cold plate next? <coughs> that almost went down the wrong way. That would have been embarrassing. Now, I'm going to take... What am I going to take next? I, I think I'll make, I think I'll make the broccoli salad for you. I'll just take this out of the way. Easy. <laughs> Hold on now. I really, really, really could uh, use a second pair of hands if anybody ever wants to go make a video. <laughs> I'd gladly have you. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Careful. Where's my apple? Okay. My goodness. Uh, I need a giant kitchen. I really do. Now, take that and I can put that back over there. And I'll take my broccoli. Goodness, that potato salad's heavy. That's gonna be like a big rock in your belly. Move that aside. I'm gonna move the mustard salad aside. Lay my lid over top to keep it clean. Now, I'm gonna make broccoli salad for you. Traditionally, broccoli salad doesn't belong on a Newfoundland traditional cold plate, um, but it's really delicious, and most plate places have it now. Um, so I thought I'd come out and show you how we absolutely love it. Um, so I took a full head of broccoli from the supermarket, washed it really well, and I cut it up like, I left a few of the little stems on there just because they're nutritious and they're good for you. Um, so I'm going to take that now and I'm going to take, that's not for this salad, I'm going to take a carrot. And on the small side of my grater, I'm just going to grate some of that right into it. Probably something else that could have been done on uh, earlier for the rocket. Sorry. I'll just grate a little bit and then I'll add some more if I need it. Now, put that in the bowl. Along with, and these are optional, so... We like to um, add maybe one second. I get this big pot out of my way. And wipes my <laughs> wipes my hands. Um, we're gonna add some dry bloopers. <laughs> That's just the cover off the beat. I'll pick that up later and wash it. Um, so, I'm going to add like a small handful of dried cranberries. I'm just using the Great Value ones. More bang for your buck. And I'm going to add some Joe's Sultana raisins. You can add any kind of raisins you want. You don't even need raisins. I like a little bit of sweet something. Um, you can also add like sunflower seeds and stuff in here if you want. Uh, entirely up to you. I got some really nice grapes, so I'm going to take a couple of those. <laughs> it's 
to the hugs are going to be loving it. Oh, really loving it. I'm going to take those knife and I'm just going to um, just half some of those, put them in there. And I remember the first time, oh, <laughs> the first time I had broccoli salad, I was at Gail Hart's house. And I was a color tech for her at the time. And um, I don't know if you guys saw the show, um, Lookalikes. There was, it was on, oh, I guess in the early 2000s, uh, maybe late 90s. Um, and there was this guy on there and his name was Jeffrey Altenberg and he, would like say say you wanted to look like Britney Spears or something and he would take you and change your hair and your makeup and your clothes and turn you into Britney Spears well um, he was a guest at the dinner table and uh, that's what she was serving it was a wonderful night and I <laughs> couldn't believe my taste buds oh my goodness it's such a great salad um, and of course, Gail, she's a fantastic cook anyway. I've never eaten anything of hers that wasn't good. She's the one that introduced me to the uh, albacore tuna. <laughs> oh, so, so, so good. Now, I'm just going to leave it there. I can add to later. Um, so, we got in there. And now I'm going to grate a little bit of cheese. Oh, no cleans up some mess. I've got a really, 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 really long countertop in my kitchen, like, it's probably two more of me like this. <laughs> and I still manage to fill the counters. Like, and I mean fill the counters every single day. Like, it's amazing. Now, I need one of those uh, carrots, you know, with the hole in the middle and I can just dump it all down there. That would be sure nice. If anybody wants to send me one of those, you can. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take now some cheese. That's my lid again. I washed that and it really goes to be washed now. Um, so yeah, so cheese. I just got oh, no name, old cheddar. I didn't have Cracker Barrel. And I have to be honest, this is just as good. And I'm a real stickler when it comes to cheese. Um, so I'm just going to grate some cheese. Okay. I'm sorry I don't measure. That's why I do the video. So you can kind of see. Now. I'm just going to take that. So it's a, good, it's a good handful. And put that in there. And here I have bacon. I cooked it up earlier, and who doesn't love bacon? So what I'm going to do, I just put paper towel just to uh, absorb the grease and keep it clean. Uh, I'm going to take this bacon now, and I'm actually just going to uh, crumble it right into the salad. And because I did it earlier, see? It crumbles up really nice and easy. <laughs> I hope my video is not too, too long. <laughs> I'll be here till next year trying to upload it. I guess you guys have much more to do today, um, being housebound and everything else. Um, I felt a little fatty that <laughs> So, I have this in here. I'm just, but you know what? I'm not even gonna mix it yet. I'm gonna make my sauce. So, into, well, I was gonna use that measuring cup, but that's rotten now. So, I'm going to take some Miracle Whip again. And again, I don't measure, so I'll, I'll see. I'll see what it is when I get there. And I usually use that other measure, but that's okay. Bit more than that. Okay, so I have about two thirds cup of Miracle Whip. To that, I'm going to add, well, I'm guessing it's gonna be about a quarter cup of sugar. 
I'm going to measure it just to see. And then I'm going to add vinegar. Um, <laughs> again, I don't measure, uh, but I will. I'll, I'll see what the, I'll see what a quarter cup does. Yeah. Not quite a quarter cup. I don't think I need that. Put that in there. Probably only said that, so I didn't need another measure cup, though. See, that's why I make it in the other measuring cup because it's uh, a little larger and it gives me room to mix. And I got it rotten with other stuff, so I'm not going, I'm not even going there. I'm actually going to turn this right out into. easier for mixing. I probably should have brought over my whisk. Actually, if you want to just uh, hold one second, I'll grab it. Yeah, there we go. Much, much better. So we're going to whisk that together until there's no lumps. And you're gonna have a taste now. You're gonna have a taste that and see if it needs like anything. Um, it might need some more mayo. It might need some more, I don't know, uh, sugar, maybe. We'll see. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take that now. And I'm going to put it in here, pour it right over the top. Use it all because you'll see it'll look kind of dry, but after it sits, um, it'll get like a lot better. Um, the broccoli will get a little softer and it'll all kind of uh, I don't know. It, it sinks in together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Say sorry to my own self now. Say sorry to the table. <laughs> yeah. Could probably use a better spoon for this, but oh well. Now, I'll probably add the rest of the grapes and stuff to this later. I just, I just didn't want to run you too long on the video. That's the broccoli salad. That I will taste later because by the time it uh, softens the broccoli and stuff, it'll be much better. Um, yeah, so broccoli salad. And so now I have just one more salad. <laughs> one more, I know, so many salads. I'm going to um, take this out of my way. Take all this out of your way, actually. And now what I'm gonna do is take my last bowl. <laughs> I know I have a lot of bowl. I actually have a cover full of bowls still. And to this bowl, I'm going to add a, a can of corn drained. I'm just using regular corn. A can of crushed pineapple. I leave the juice in there because there's usually not too much juice in uh, crushed pineapple anyway, as you'll see. that in there. Then I'm going to, I need another cutting board, so just bear with me for one second. Good Lord, I could really use an assistant. <laughs> I could sing to you. You probably might not like it. Okay. Gee, what a mess. Anybody wants to come clean my kitchen with the first name Tammy, you're more than welcome. <laughs> she knows who I am talking about. So I'm taking my apple. 
I washed it really, really, really well. Uh, you don't know what they're spraying on the foods these days, so take the time to uh, make sure you wash it. My hubby was out moose hunting uh, a few years ago and ate an apple that wasn't washed, and honestly, I thought we were gonna have to take a trip to the emergency room. So, I'm going to take this, and this is mostly for color and a little bit of crunch. And I know I probably could have done three or four videos on this, but hey, I'm at this today, and uh, yeah, I haven't got much else to be at today. So, I decided I'd spend it with you and take your mind off of things and away from the TV. I still haven't read my story to you guys. I will do that soon enough. It's a pretty cute book, I gotta say. So I'm cutting this uh, apple rather small. As you can see, there's just little, little, little pieces. A lot of people don't like this salad. I actually have, there's some people that make this and I really don't like it either. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I think they're just emptying it in the bowl and putting in mayonnaise and calling it <laughs> corn and pineapple salad. I don't know. It's not like mine. Anyhow. Um, so yeah, so in here now I got the corn and I got the pineapple and I got the apple. And again, I probably could have used a bigger bowl, but oh well. That's what I have. Always make do with what you have. Now, I'm going to add to this. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no measurements. So empty. I'm going to. Okay. Oh yeah, right. I just had vinegar in here, so I'm going to use that because there's vinegar goes in here. I'm going to take about. We'll see. I'll let you know because. <laughs> Again, I don't never measure. Maybe a half cup. Of mayo. Yeah, just about a half a cup of Miracle Whip, sorry, salad dressing. I'm going to take, I don't know, one, two, maybe three tablespoonfuls of vinegar. And I'm going to take, let's see here. Two teaspoons of sugar, and we'll try that. Um, let's see. Whisk it all up first. I don't know how long this video is, but it's pretty long, I think. But I'm on the end of it, so bear with me. Okay, now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that right in there. I know, it sounds weird, but it's really delicious. And we're going to mix it. And we're going to mix it. I need, to, I need a sign with mix it in it. <laughs> if you know of one, put it in the comments. Now, oh, this is looking rather nice. I'm just going to mix it up, and I'm going to give it a taste, and then we're done. Um, yeah. Let me have a little, I gotta wipe off, I gotta wipe off my fork again, hold on. That's a big bit. Mm. Perfect, doesn't need a thing. So friends, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry for keeping you so long, but um, it was really necessary. So now when I do my cold plate, I will sure, for sure take a picture. And normally we would put macaroni salad too, can you imagine? Anyhow, I'm not going to bother with that today because we're not having company. Um, but yeah, when I put it together, I will absolutely take a picture for you. And I hope you learned a little something about 
a traditional Newfoundland cold plate. Well, maybe not so traditional with the broccoli and the corn and pineapple and stuff. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you give it a try. And I hope you're having the most beautiful day once again. And we'll talk to you really, really soon. Okay, bye.